morning. Hallelujah. Come on, come on. you this morning, amen, to another, amen, part and praise, amen, service this morning here at Kairos Church Ministries. We're so glad that you joined us this morning because truly, without a doubt, amen, we know God has been good to us. Amen. Come on, come on. Let me hear it. mask up again for, for a reason. We've been in this epidemic for a while and I, I want you guys to continue to follow the governor's instructions. Where are you now? Amen. Amen. People are still leaving earth because of it. So we just want to make sure that we do our part because you're doing it for yourself, but you're doing it for others as well because people are, we know, asymptomatic. They got it. They could have it, but have no kind of effects showing. No fever. No loss of taste, no, none of it. They feel fine, but they are carriers. That's why we have to make sure that we protect ourselves. Now, God is good. Amen. He's our healer. He's our deliverer. No if and buts about it. But we must do our part. Amen. So I say to you again, amen, wear your mask. Put those masks on. Now, if you hear me and you're in agreement with me, let me hear you make some noise. Amen. Our morning scripture, our morning scripture comes from Psalm 45, Psalm 45, verses starting at verse 10. Starting at verse 10. It says, Hear, O daughter, consider and incline your ear. Forget your people and your father's house, and the king will desire your beauty. Since he is your Lord, bow to him. The people of Tyria will seek your favor with gifts, the riches, the riches of the people with all kinds of wealth. The princess is decked in her chamber with golden woven, woven robes and many colored robes. She is led to the king. Behind her, the virgins, her companions follow. With joy and gladness, they are led along as they enter the palace of the king in the place of ancestors you. O king shall have sons. You will make them princes in all the earth. And I will cause your name to be celebrated in all generations. Therefore the people will praise you forever and ever. Come on and give them a praise. Heavenly Father, we thank you this morning. We thank you for your strength. And Father, I pray, God, that you may help us to run the race that is set before us 
with patience and endurance. Looking into the hill who comes all my help. Father, we know that Jesus, you are the author and the finisher of our faith. You are a solid rock upon which we stand. Father, we recognize that this is a spiritual race and the strength and stamina we need is not physical but spiritual. So we thank you for spiritual strength. We thank you for spiritual perseverance. We thank you for spiritual endurance. Touch us on today, God. Help us to hear what needs to be heard that we may endure through all that, Father, we come up against. We ask you to sustain us, our children, our home. And God, we invite you in to this park and praise service on today. God, that we may lift you up because we already know you King of Kings. You're Lord of Lords. You're the first. You're the last. Day, that we may run the race that is set before us. We, we thank, thank you now. now. In, In Jesus' matchless and powerful name, come on and get God through. Somebody ready to bless him. Amen. And our praise team is going to come back and lead us further in.